Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to the free show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Dungeon Rats. This episode's a little bit delayed, guys and gals. I've been having, well, we'll say issues and problems and stuff. I planned on doing a daily episode of this every day, hence the word of daily. And also the whole bunch of tyranny that I was doing, hom and all this other stuff. But unfortunately, my time got sapped for me the last day and a half or so. So I'm actually kind of behind, and I apologize. I'm still getting content out there, guys. I didn't leave you high and dry, but... I'm not as well off as I was hoping to be. Alright, so we need to reform our crew. And I don't know the best way to do that right now. So, I'm pretty sure I, I have figured out what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring Marcus back along. I'm probably going to leave our boy Artemir behind, but I'm going to bring him along right away because I want to grab his equipment. And what is this that I'm doing? What is this nonsense and craziness that I'm talking about? Well... <sighs> The short version, if you will, is that I'm going to probably use our uh, crafter as a ranged crossbowman because he does have that skill. So as such, I would very, very much like to dismiss Artemir, get our crafter Hi Hiron, Hiron to join us. And Quintus, I guess, for now. I mean, we might switch Quintus out with somebody else, but for now, you're our huckleberry buddy. And we're going to go here. Yeah, sure, go with your desert garments. I don't care. We had a cool hood for you, right? Yeah, we did. I'm going to put this on your... Sure. And... You had mace skill? Wasn't, didn't we have a mace that um, actually could be used as a... I probably just dis disassembled it already. As a belt slot item. I thought we did, but again, it's possible that I didn't. It's fine. Okay, all that being said, we have all this extra stuff. I'll still throw this down here. Why not? Might as well. Kind of keep all the equipment there. It's, it's fine. Went to this. Alright, so everybody kind of needs to recover from that last little dealy. So let's go and get everybody healed up. Go ahead and use a healing cell for you. A healing cell for you. And we're going to max out everybody else. Okay, I think that's fine, and okay. So everybody's fully healed. Artemir is one of the few that isn't. He gets to stand there naked and ashamed, which is fine. Um, blacksmith's chest. Let's go see what's in here. Ooh, a bronze mace. One small one here. Oh, there it is. That's exactly what we were looking for, folks. See? Ask and you shall receive, I suppose. Alright, well, we're going to, of course, learn this schematic. I kind of wanted to do most of this stuff off of camera, but I decided that no, no I don't. I actually would rather do this on camera so you guys can see all the looting and stuff. And I'm a little bit more familiar with what's going on, so I don't need to go quite as slowly as I did before. We'll add the schematic, we'll add the schematic. we got a whole bunch of stuff here, another net. We have some iron balls. Oh, they're uh, modifier reagents, it's probably for the black powder bomb. And we can actually get black powder now as well, which is fantastic. And I am a fan of all of these things. Okay, what else we got? We have my stash is over here. So we don't have to go back for that. I didn't leave anything behind. We have the crafting there. We can come down here and loot the bodies. And we can go talk to Roxana. She also seems to be a crossbow-wielding maniac. So it's possible that... I don't want you to be the frontline guy. I want to be the frontline guy. That she might be able to do stuff. And we're going to be able to get some really cool equipment out of all this, including the uh, regal cape thing going. I forgot, I don't have to move from person to person here. We'll take all, we'll go and we'll go to the basher man and we'll take all of your stuff. We'll come over here to Reinhardt. We'll take, yeah, we'll take this. And what else we got? We got one more guy, the alchemist. And he's got a whole bunch of cool stuff. So we'll take all of that. We're getting pretty heavy right now. And we still have plenty of room, so I'm not super worried about it. However, we've done some work. Let's go see how that trident thing stacks up against what we're using right now. There it is. Well, first off, I would like to add the schematic. I'm going to build one of these, more than likely. In fact, I'm almost positive that I will. 10 to 13 versus 8 to 11. Definitely going to swap it over. It's heavier. 
which is kind of unfortunate, but it is heavier. The weapon hardness is actually quite a bit higher, so the best that we can tell, weapon hardness, or maybe it's armor hardness, is that what it is? Um, I guess it's a chance to reduce um, the damage reduction of different armor and stuff like that. So the more weapon hardness you have, the better off it is. It wasn't explained super well to me, so I don't know for certain. And there's a cool hat here. We're going to add the schematic. What is that? 6 DR? Not bad. Armor hardness of 0, though. Definitely lowers our critical penalty, but it, it does increase our to-hit chance penalty. Alright, well, I'm not going to use this, and I'm probably going to disassemble this as well. I'm going to melt both of those down. And I'm going to hope that that's going to allow me to actually build up a steel version of the other thing. But we're going to go see what we need first before we do any of that. So crafting, weapons, the trident. We need five pounds, and we have five pounds of iron. And that will be not... Well, hold on. Is the, is the one that we have there, is that steel? Oh, it's iron. Why is it 10 to 13 and the one that we can craft is less? Oh, no, it's 10 to 13 too. Oh, it's showing me bronze down here, but up here it's showing me iron. Okay. Well, that means I don't even have to tear the other one apart yet if I don't want to. Well, let's see. I don't know if I want the... It's already got a pretty high weapon hardness, so I'm going to probably skip that for now. We're going to go with... Um... The passive bonus. So the passive bonus will basically allow me to prevent people from getting within melee range of me. Or if they try to move outside of range, I get that extra attack. So we're going to go with the to hit chance bonus. And I'm going to go with the... critical strike bonus sounds pretty good too. I'm going to go with the passive bonus though for now. We don't have you ready to go just yet. Hold on, I want to check one more thing. I'm sorry guys, I know I'm kind of all over the place here. 10 skill points... We won't be able to get your crafting up to 8 anytime soon, so... Might as well craft this now, get it over with. So Trident, Iron, or Iron, or Iron, as I... I don't know if that's what I was going to say, but it's fine. Uh, Masterwork Passive, we're going to go ahead and forge that, and boom! We go into our inventory, and we're going to put this bad boy up in our hands. It's going to be still a little bit more AP, so no moving and then attacking. Before we were able to move one square and then attack twice. Now it's pretty much going to be... Well, a little bit slower, we'll say. A spiked iron club. I don't really feel like that is necessarily our best bet. I still am enjoying him using uh, his big two-handed hammer. He's actually got some points to do stuff with, too. Um, yeah, you know what? You're going to go another point into your hammer, buddy. There it is. All right, and then Quintus, my friend. Quintus, what are we going to do with you? We're always going down the defensive side with you, so there we go. And then you are going to pretty much sit at your low attack with a bow, not with crossbow. Okay, good. I'm like, oh no, he has a bow, not a crossbow. I made a terrible mistake. All right, so that's pretty good. We can probably tear that down then, so let's go ahead and decompose that. Uh, unless I want a lighter weapon, but I don't think I do. So I'm going to decompose this. Let's go into crafting, decompose, we'll get rid of that. We can close it somewhere steel back. Um, I'm going to decompose this as well because the one that we have is better. That's fine for now. Let's see, is there anything that we missed? It looks like we missed a schematic for that. We'll go back in here. I'd rather do it from here in case I do something wrong. A schematic for the giant two handed axe, a schematic for whatever this is. That's okay. It's not great. I feel like our thing is quite a bit better. Um, spiked Iron Club. Is that a two-handed weapon? Mm, doesn't seem to be. The chance penalty of two. DR2, DR2, armor hardness of 12. I think that's fine. What is this thing? Add schematic. Eh. That's crazy, that thing. We have the schematic and everything else. Alright, so we can probably tear a lot of these things down. I don't know about... 
these. They can be a belt slot item. So what if we put that up on um, up on Quintus? Three to six, three AP. Seems to be a little bit better. We also have a four to seven that we could do. Also three AP. And it's got a to hit chance bonus. All right, we're gonna do that instead. And then do I have any crazy thing like that? No, but I can throw another net into my uh, my field of battle there. All right. So I don't hate any of this stuff. Let's uh, let's go to my stash. Where is my stash? It's back down over here, right? All right. Let's go ahead and transfer all of that. Do we have any other pieces of uh, stuff like craftable material? Yes, we do. We will transfer it. We'll transfer it. We'll transfer it. It's weird that those things are transferable. Transfer. Alright, so all that stuff is there. We're still pretty heavy right now, but again, it's not absurdly heavy. So I'm fine with it. Alright, let's go talk to Roxana and see what she has to say to us. And she is definitely here. Once again, you see the woman you've met earlier. She's nailed to a crude cross, her face bloodied and bruised. You again, says the woman, spitting blood. The F you want. What happened? Reinhardt happened. Freaking lunatic. He said I failed him too many times as if his men did any better. Are you going to remove the bloody nails or what? And why would I do that? Reinhardt and I have an unfinished business. If you're going after him, you can use my help. Eh, he's kind of dead. Are you the new boss? She looks at you quizzically, and then it dawns on her. You are not. You're going to fight your way out of here. Take me with you. You're going to need all the help you can get. Trust me on it. I'll cut you down. Yeah, hey, you and your crossbow. Hold on, I forgot a very important part of my uh, setup here. Boom! There, now I'm the new boss. What? Missed me already, smirks the woman. How did you end up here? Politics shrugs at Roxanne. Oh, now she's Roxanne here, but Roxanna down there. Eh? I'm just saying. As if it explains everything. I killed a man who was off limits. Darista warned me, but I didn't listen. Now, never did I like that bleep. Or that B, as it were. That B. That ho? We can go with ho. It's fine. Uh, that's not much of a story. You want a story? Well, I was with the boatmen of Styx in Medoran. It's a big city, no shortage of people, someone wants dead. So, one day, Lorenza of House Kalani asked me to take care of someone for her. She's a good client, plenty of money and enemies. I run the contract by Hamza, he gives me his go-ahead. But that effing bleep says no. That effing bleep would be... Darista, the new guildmaster. She was cozying up to Galius ever since she got to Medorin. I bet that's how she got the job in the first place. And Mark was one of Galius's allies, so Darissa says no because Galius and her and his people are off limits now. But you killed him anyway. I didn't join the boatman to take orders from that no-name bleep, so I had to make a point. To be honest, I thought it would uh, get Darista in trouble with Galius. Maybe even get her thrown out from the guild, but boy was I wrong. Well, how did you survive here? You mean, how does a professional killer survive among backstabbers, highwaymen, and other scum? Well, it's easier than you think. Kill the first few fools you think they're going to be, that you're, it's going to be easy and the rest will leave you alone. Then join the right crew and life gets bearable again. It worked like a charm until, well, you came along. Well, come with me right now because I want to see what your skills do. Then after that, we'll see. Ooh, you have really good attack and defensive skills. You're pretty decent with a bat, uh, with a dagger, with a dagger. You're really good with throwing weapons too, which is pretty interesting. And your crossbow skill is not to be scoffed at. Your dodge is really high, and your critical strikes high. Man, how do you have so many stats this early on? Um, still need a blocker, and I want him to get his uh, crafting up to max. So unfortunately, we can't use you yet. It doesn't mean we can't use you at all. So, that being said, we can definitely go with more dagger, or we can go with more crossbow, or we can even go with more throwing. But I don't know how many throwing weapons are going to be super useful. It is what it is. Alright, well, we're going to go back and we're going to get our other person. 
That's going to be fine, I think. we we'll go back and get Crafty McGee. Are you Crafty McGee? You're not Crafty McGee. We're just Crafty McGee. Crafty, where you at, buddy? Yeah. You'd think he'd be, like, right there, but no. Silas. Artemir. Oh, we, never mind, it was Quintus that we got rid of. My bad, sorry, I thought it was the crafter again. You guys are probably screaming at me, you didn't get rid of the crafter! Ah, it's fine. I deserve your screams, no doubt. No doubt. Alright, well... We do still have some random stuff that we can, I guess, take a look at. I'm sure there's something that we have that might be better than what we're using. Auxiliary... DR4, DR4, 44, 30, max AP 12, max AP 11, armor penalty of 9, armor penalty of 4, eh. Well, I don't really think there is anything that we actually need out of any of this stuff. So we can do like a mass de uh, decomposing of pretty much all of this, and it's not really going to hurt us. So why don't we do that? Uh, I'm trying to think, is there anything better? At all? What are you rocking, buddy? An 8 to 11, this is a 5 to 8. Yeah, I mean, you're better with pretty much everything. Your, your headpiece is the only questionable one. We can get you that, which is actually quite good. It's going to make your to hit chance be just garbage tier again. You know what? Why don't we do that? Why don't we get rid of that and make him a new one? And then we'll see where that puts us. Basically, it means we got to come over here. we got to get our iron back. All of our iron back. And. I think I've done that, okay. Then we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna craft ourselves a thing, an alk no, 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 crafting. Uh, helmet. The Mermulo helmet, yes, that thing. And we will forge it, but not yet. We want the penalties reduced, and we want the armor hardness to go up. I wanna forge that bad boy. We don't want two of them, we only want one. Say okay. Then we'll equip that on you. And you should be pretty stoked, because that's a really good hat. Now your to hit chance is going to go kind of down the toilet a little bit here, but that's okay. So, I mean, four to hit chance penalty, not bad. We weren't able to replace this yet, right? We were going to try, but we couldn't because it's too heavy. So let's go and start decomposing some more stuff. Like, what is this thing? Where did it come from? Why do we have it? A curved Scythian honor dagger. Once an oddity, the Jambia becomes a common weapon of many street gangs. Huh. I had the schematic. Okay, let's go back to decompose. Well, what can we do with this? Why is this over here? We don't know. Uh, let's go back to decomposing. Um, I guess we'll decompose that. How much iron do we get out of all this stuff? Oh, we're getting a decent amount of iron. Wow, pretty good. Oh, what's that? Okay, not bad so far. Decompose quite a few things here. That's probably like cloth or leather or something. Um, decompose that bad boy. Decompose this, this. We have 31 of those? Are you kidding me? Wait, are they thrown weapons? If they're like throwing daggers, that, that changes a lot. Or we actually have another one of these. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we never got rid of that. Alright, so let's decompose a bunch of that. Yeah, we've already almost ran out of time, guys and gals. I apologize. Um, we could do better armor. And it was... What is this? No. It was the Lorca Hamada, right? DR6... Armor hardness of... I think that's what we were using. Let's go check. 
Yeah, the, the L Lorica Hamada DR4. If we go and we craft it with, um, hold on, let's go decompose. I want to decompose one more thing. Probably this. Decompose. Alright. Now if we go and we try to craft one of these. I'm trying to get enough iron, I'm sorry guys. Or sorry, enough copper, I apologize. Don't really want that, so we're going to decompose it. Okay, so now if we come over here, there we go. DR of 5, the Lorca Hamada. I wonder why the one we have is 4. Maybe it's damaged. Or we can go up to 6 and then get all the other benefits and bonuses. Very cool. We can max the AP limit. He doesn't use... Like, his max AP is um, fairly certain it's the same. Your max AP is 10, right? Like, that doesn't change. Do, do we get to see action points? 12, 10, 10, and 10. So, yeah, we can just... Okay. So we can just craft it. He's only... He maxes out at 10, so we don't have to worry about that right now. Or just bad boy. Go ahead and uh, get hardened up on it. we we'll get the masterwork penalties there. Lower some of the armor penalties. Wow. With six armor penalties, that's crazy. Okay, and I believe we're going to forge that bad boy right now. And then we're going to go here, we're going to equip it. And you're going to be super happy yeah, it was damaged. That's exactly why. Okay, now let's see if we can't continue on our little adventure here before we run out of time. A little bit quicker than the last time we came to our new area, so you guys can at least enjoy that. We can harvest some mushrooms. They they all look the same to me. Uh, oh, that's right. Our other guys are... Uh, okay. I forgot our other guys got alchemy. So we don't get to do any of the harvesting yet. We'll come back to it later. I'm curious. what Do, do you have like super high perception or something? No. Not even really that high intelligence either. Eight's not bad though. All things considered. Alright. Disturbed by your arrival, two scorpions crawl out of the vegetation to see what the fuss is all about. Alright, we get to do battle with some scorpions before we break off the episode. I'm gonna have them, um... Are they stronger scorpion? No, they're just... Oh, that's an elder scorpion right there. Alright. So we're definitely gonna need to make sure that we handle this appropriately. Gonna move there, gonna move our boy. Oh, what is his name? Marcus? Oh, Paul Horus. Gonna move our boy Horus over here. I think that's fine. And uh, yeah, we can keep Iron over here, I suppose. And let's begin. Alright, we're gonna wait. He's gonna come forward. I don't know why we didn't stab him. I guess because we were waiting, maybe? I, I'm not entirely certain. Well, the unfortunate reality... Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I've made a terrible mistake. Sort of. Oh, he dodged. But only once. Okay. We don't have much of a chance to hit him, but we're going to go for it. Didn't work at all. Shield bash him away a little bit there. That's not so bad. And our turn, and yep, we just got ourselves wrecked because I am stupid in many ways. Alright, we're going to go with the normal attack here. Okay, we did a little bit of damage there, and we reduced his, uh, his damage reduction quite a bit. Okay, and another shot there. Scorpion came forward. Now we have to get away from this guy, and thankfully we were able to. We were kind of engaged in all that nonsensical craziness. Let's see here. Go with piercing shot and boom. Alright, a little bit of work there. A big hit there, follow up big hit, follow up big hit right there. And a sli oh, no, not the shield bash, you fool, what have you done? The attack, and down he goes. Alright, sweet. Ooh, counter attack, nice. Uh, if we move there, I believe we have a shot on him. And he dodged it, and darn it. 
Alright, I don't think we need to reload with a piercing one. We're gonna go with bronze on this guy. He's almost down. It's just unfortunate that we're gonna have to use some more of our um, our food to deal with this. Because I moved him wrong. I don't know why he wasn't able to get past over there. That's kind of surprised me, to be honest. Alright, he went. We blocked. We blocked again. And death. No? Death? Still no death. Wow. Alright, gonna skip your turn altogether for right now. We're gonna go for the kill, and there it is. Yay! We got skill points and stuff, and no one died, allegedly. Alright, we got some more rations there. Oh, that was so bad. See, bad bumpy being bad, folks. Bad bumpy being bad. We come here, we're gonna get 20. Uh, I guess we're gonna get 20 for you as well. And we're gonna max you out, max you out. Let's say okay. Let's go ahead with the Elder Scorpion. We're gonna take all. Oops. Ah. Right here, we'll take all as well. It's fine. I mean, it's easier to do it probably the way I did it than the scroll down, drop down stuff. It's fine though. Alright, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is the perfect time, place, and opportunity to break off the episode. In the next episode, we shall go through the Crystal Caves and see what horrible, horrible things await us in there. But, I think that's going to be okay. You offer yet another sacrifice to death. Good stuff. Alright, folks, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.